So, in our previous session, we initiated a discussion on the poem by displaying the picture cards of two animals, the camel and the chimpanzee. Now, let's take this discussion forward by displaying the remaining picture cards. So now it's time to display the picture card of the penguin. Ask the students, is that a giraffe? They may respond by saying, no, that is a penguin. Continue by asking them, what is the penguin doing in the picture? They may respond by saying, it's standing next to a lake. Assist the students to form sentences and read difficult words. Next, display the picture card of the visitors playing with the animals at the zoo and ask, what's in the picture? Accept all responses from the students. After they've finished responding, conclude by summarizing the poem while emphasizing on concepts of vocabulary, rhyming words, use of this and that, and four and five letter words. With that, we have come to the end of this lesson. Through the innovative idea of what's in the picture, the students will be able to sing songs or rhymes with action, respond to comprehension questions orally and in writing in English or in their native language, identify characters and sequence of events in a story, verbally express their opinion and inquire about the characters, storyline, etc. in English or in their native language, draw or write a few words or short sentences in response to poems and stories, use pronouns related to gender like his or her, he or she, it, and pronouns like this and that, here and there, these and those, and so on. For more such fascinating teaching ideas, do stay tuned for our upcoming videos. Until then, goodbye.